In this episode of Serana Mitchell Wells, we take a look at what should be done when a teen is recorded having sexual intercourse unknowingly and how society should treat the victims. Shauna Thomas Cuffey is a psychotherapist practicing here in Grenada. If a teen was unknowingly recorded, what should he or she do? Wow. So, this is a problem because Grenada has on its book something called the crime, the electronic crime bill. And the electronic crime bill speaks against that. Eh? So, it's literally illegal to record someone without their knowledge. Yes, and worse yet, to share. There are fines attached. So people can go online and research Grenada Electronic Crime Bill. It comes up. A lot of schools are doing a lot of work talking to students about the implications, what's in there, and how they should behave and interact with a piece of document like that. So they have to know, right, the fundamentals of the crime bill and know that if you go against it, you could be charged. So that is my main thing, that people have to understand it's illegal. It is really, really illegal, yeah? And young people going around taping everything, you have to be responsible for what you put on your phone. You have to be responsible for the images that you are about to circulate or send off because these images can pose psychological, legal, emotional, physical, huh? all kinds of um, damage too not just the persons in the video but the families and um other people attached to the people who are involved in in that video which you took without their permission pastor isaiah sid rose is attached to the evangelistic center member church of the pentecostal assembly of the west indies i don't think the, the problem really is in recording sexual activities and I want to say that very safely and let me qualify what I'm, what I'm getting at my concern is how we as a society and we as, 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 as a people have made sex to be so casual so public and um, we, we, we've stripped sex of its holiness of its sacredness as it were and of its privacy matters. So whenever we see something like that happening, it has to cause us to think of our attitude and our whole demeanor where the sex act is concerned. As far as I understand, sex is supposed to be something private. Um, because of the, the cultures that we live in, because of the, the world that we live in and certain cultures that are promoted through social media, um, People can look at, again, I'm going back to the pattern, people can look at certain patterns that have been uh, established in other parts of the world and think that that's okay for me to do. To the point where whenever you are having a private matter, it becomes okay for you to, to record that, whether the person knows or don't know, and publicize that. That to me is disrespect to a very sacred and pure uh, activity that God has designed, one that we should give its respect and honor, but that is not of being seen. Sex has become, uh, people have, 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 have dishonored sex so much that it is okay to publicize it. There's a reason why our genitals are called private parts, <laughs> because what is to be done with these private parts is of a private matter. It should never be made public. Now, I don't know what is going on in the minds of those who, who record um, and publish it. But going back to the question, to be more specific, what should persons do who are recorded um, without knowing? They should seek some form of help. Um, because I could only imagine the, the, the degree of shame that could come with that. Again, especially if you're the one who have a high esteem to the privacy of sex. And your private matter is now in the public. Um, bedroom matters has now become street matters. That can be very shameful. That can be very defeating as a person in terms of your confidence, your ego. That, that can be very damaging. So someone who is recorded without knowing um, should seek some form of 
help, um, whether it's professional help through counseling or some form of spiritual help, to, to help them get through that process of um, going forward. To help them through the process of knowing that it's not the end of the road. It might be, there might be a, a, a big detour in the road, but that's not the end of the road. Um, life continues and they have to continue living as a person and, and in, in, in as much as possible feel comfortable in themselves, um, feel valued because they still have value, um, they have much to offer, and not allow that one negative, perhaps some mistake, I don't know, um, to cause them not to be who they really meant to be. Um, what is very concerning for me, honestly, that private matters become public matters. This is Jervis Dabriel a member of the National Cybersecurity Incidents Response Team, CSERT. All right, so there are two separate things here uh, that we, we must be, you know, uh, careful to, to differentiate. Uh, one, uh, a minor engaged in sexual activity should not be happening, all right? Uh, so that, that is not something that should be, should be happening. And if, if it is happening between a minor and an adult, then understand that a crime is being committed because a minor does not have the ability based on law to say yes or give consent, all right? Uh, in the case of adults, consenting adults, well, of course, they want to have their sex. They can have their, their sex. The issue now is whether or not the engagement is within a public space, if where it is happening, they are expected to enjoy a reasonable amount of privacy based on our law, then you can be looking at invasion of privacy according to the Electronic Crimes Act. Again, this does not give minors uh, a go ahead to engage in this sort of activity, sexual activity, um, whether it's between minors, minors and adults, um, there are issues there. But, you know, if this is happening in your room, in your bedroom, and somebody flew a drone and captured the video, you're looking at invasion of privacy. Uh, if you are in a space where you find it uh, comfortable because of reasonable privacy to derobe based on the Electronic Crimes Act, and somebody was to film or record that, a crime is committed. Uh, we should also be mindful that it is not legal. It is illegal to be posting uh, or, or installing cameras in certain spaces. You should not have uh, cameras in a bathroom, for example. Uh, so if, if that is where the activity is happening, then you can be looking at invasion of privacy. But again, understand um, sex involving minors, um, there is an issue with that act in itself outside of, of the invasion of privacy and the distribution of, of the video, which again could be a crime. Shauna Thomas Cuffey. So how do you think, or how do you suggest it be handled by parents, schools, authority and society on a hold? The sharing of pornographic videos of teens, especially online. Well, first of all, I think an adult on receipt of a video involving young people, even if you decide to view it or you don't decide to view it, you should not share it. You should not share it. That's a responsible thing to do. Do not share. And then again, you have to realize that a video and images, based on how it's captured, you're not looking at what's happened before. You don't know what's happened after. You don't know anything leading up to those images that you're seeing. Right? So the authority, society, um, the schools on a whole, the schools can do more in terms of having maybe little workshops on the electronic crime bill having um, the police officers coming and the people, you know, maybe um, some lawyers, past pupils attached to the schools and having them do some um, sensitization, awareness programs, educational programs on, you know, social media responsibility. Because there are some things that are being seen and viewed in the videos. Um, the participants are sometimes willing participants. And of course, even if they approve the taping or don't approve the taping, we have some moral questions there, you know, some real deep moral questions. You know, I remember when um, we had an incident in the National Champs, I was very hurt 
Because as a parent, I'm thinking, you tell your child what is acceptable socially, the norms, you, you know, the mores, the values, the virtues that you keep, not just as a girl, but as a boy, as a person, as a young person. And it, if these values and virtues are being scoffed at and are being frowned upon by the very young people that we are meant to protect, then we have a total breakdown in society. Jervis Dabriel. Do not victimize the victim. I, I believe, you know, as, as human beings, we must appreciate that we make mistakes, we experiment, things do not always go the way we expect them to. And um, as young people, we did things then that maybe we should not have done, whether it was take a few mangoes without asking, uh, jump a fence without, you know, when we should not. Um, take a few marbles, what have you. And so we, we've done things. The difference is the internet now puts it out there and exposes it to, you know, everybody. Um, so I think the, the message here is for the schools, for the family members um, to be supportive. Yes, an issue, something happened that should not have happened. Uh, it, it may not be a case where, you know, the, the, the young person was looking at all the the, the cons of something like that, you know, got caught up in a moment, wanted to experiment, something led to thing. I mean, again, that doesn't say you should be involved in sexual activity as a minor, uh, but the video got recorded. You know, sex happened. Don't victimize them. Ensure that they get the level of support that they need um, from the family. They may need to get a bit of counseling. Ensure that that happens. Um, school should not be too quick to parade them in front of the, the student body um, to shame them because you you may be adding um, to the the mental anguish that that young person is is having they will have to deal with um, in addition to the video circulating so just be supportive address the issue yes in a way that um, will encourage uh, their development, their growth, them seeing what, you know, they did wrong uh, and being able to, to move on. But generally, just don't, don't victimize them. Thank you for viewing Serana Mitchell Worlds. Until next time, be safe and take care of you.